Hey guys, it is April 6th. Don't know how many days I've been out here. I think it's like 36 or 37. Um, last night we had some pretty intense snow and we stayed in the shelter, luckily, but the wind was whipping so, so uh, hard and fast last night that it was actually pushing snow into the shelter. People hung up their tents across the entrance of the shelter to keep the snow out and it is freezing cold it's i think it's like 20 degrees right now and uh so we've decided that we're going to take a zero here at the shelter to try to stay somewhat warm uh lisa is definitely not feeling very well with having her shoes be the way that they are now she's not feeling com confident in walking seven or eight miles to the nearest hostel so we can get a ride into an REI to replace her shoes. So we're gonna take a zero here at the shelter. Sorry for the weird camera angles. I'm filtering water for everyone in the shelter right now. Um, so we're going to take a zero here at the shelter and then because it's supposed to be like 50 degrees tomorrow, which would be a nice, nice change from what it is now. It is supposed to get down colder tonight than it was last night, somewhere in the teens. So I'm not really looking forward to that. Hey guys, uh, well, as you can tell from my beard and the surrounding environment, it's snowing pretty good here. Uh, we were at the last shelter and we were gonna take a zero to let Lisa rest her feet a little bit. And I was gonna be perfectly fine with that because after walking all day yesterday in the rain, I wasn't feeling like going anywhere either. Um, so at our last shelter, we were gonna take, when we were gonna take our zero, this guy came through and he was just gonna stop for lunch and then push on to the next gap where somebody's gonna come pick him up because he's doing section hikes until he finishes the whole trail. And he's, he said he was on his way to Asheville, which is where the nearest REI store is. And uh, how convenient that we also have to go to REI to replace Lisa's shoes and my sleeping pad, which got another hole in it. This is not the same pad, but a second pad that REI has sent us that has a hole in it after two days of using it. So I gotta replace that, replace her shoes and her sleeping bag because she's uh, not been staying warm enough at night. So huge blessing that this guy just happened to come through right where we were to stop for lunch and uh, mention that he's on his way to Asheville. So a big thanks to him. Hey guys, it is day 35 out here, and I've just experienced some of the best trail magic I think you could even, even think of or even mention. Uh, the campsite that we're staying at is five miles each direction from a water source. And today, the weather was very, very hot uh, in the upper 80s all day long. So we, we were burning through all of our water and even just in that last five miles where we filled up right before we headed up to the campsite because we knew that there was no water, in that last five miles we both burned through two whole liters of water each. And we met a, uh, we met a gentleman by the name of Cheesebeard and uh, if you're familiar with the Appalachian Trail, there is a Christmas tree just in the middle of the trail as a memorial to this, this family's son who's passed away. He, he went up there to check on the tree and, and uh, read the, uh, the log book there. And in passing, 
he had asked us how we were how our trip was going and we mentioned that it was good all except that we didn't have any water well he went out of his way and drove me five miles down here he's going to drive me five miles back up just so i could fill up some some water bottles so we can have some cold, uh, some fresh drinking water for the evening that's that's what i call trail magic very cool so he said he was going to go get his tent that's good he wasn't kidding he, br uh, yeah. he brought his tent fully assembled. Yeah, I was around <laughs> doing it and putting it back up again. <laughs> Ta da! Yeah. That's as good a spot as any. So, we're doing our resupply here at Engels, and we've got a ton of food. I don't think we're going to be able to eat all of this within four days, let alone carry it on our backs. Here's Lisa and the puppy. Okay. Today we're going to show you what a resupply on the Appalachian Trail looks like. Uh, so if you want to come in for a closer look, we'll show you what we got going on. So to start with, um, this is something you don't really see on the trail, but I've been wanting some for a while. I got a whole loaf of bread. It's like 16 inches of uh, bread loaf, which I'm looking forward to having. I'm just probably just going to strap that to the outside of my backpack. Right here I've got uh, some little brown sugar packets to add to my oatmeal. Um, some tortillas for my lunches. Um... Up here I've got some candy that is just nice to have during the middle of the day. Um, four packs of ramen noodles and um, eight packs of oatmeal, eight packs of cream of wheat, 12 honey buns, uh, 16 granola bars, a bottle of A1 sauce, two flavor packs that I can add to my noodles for dinners, tuna packs and some hot chocolate in this pile, some Chinese noodles, which is similar to a ramen, but it's uh, more calories, Pop-Tarts, some peppermint patty looking things, four packs of potatoes for dinner, half of a summer sausage, and then just some miscellaneous little snacks. And all of that is gonna fit into this 15 liter bag uh, also this is only four days worth of food which may seem ridiculous but it'll all be gone so this is the food bag filled up four and a half days of food maybe six pounds um, we've got plenty of extra food that we are sending ahead uh, to our next resupply point which is in, I think, about 50 miles, so four days-ish. And then uh, she's getting her stuff packed up as well. And we're just going to send one big box forward to ourselves. Hey guys, it is day 39 out here for me on the Appalachian Trail. I believe it's day 15 or 16 for Lisa. Uh, we hitched into Asheville the other day to replace some gear, and we are back on the trail today. We got a, a ride from a really generous guy named Solitude. Um, he drove us an hour and a half out of his way to get us back to the trailhead, which was super awesome of him. Uh, so I have to give him a shout out for sure. And we are going to hike about a mile and a half today uh, from the trailhead up to the first water source and then camp there tonight and then head out first thing in the morning and try to get in, I think, like nine miles. Um, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 